Hey y'all, Eric from AllenAnchor.com. Today I'm going to show you how to laminate prints from your printer. We have a BN20, but this will pretty much work for just about any printer out there. So let's get into it. Alright, so what you'll need is tack cloth, very important, got to keep dust off it, I'll show you in a minute. A uh, good pair of scissors and a box cutter. Preferably keep something nice and sharp because a dull box cutter is going to make this harder. And of course a laminating card. Well, laminator, I would say put it on a card because that's going to be the easiest way, at least, that we have found to laminate. And all this is, it's just a laminator bolted down to a Harbor Freight cart that I torqued up with an impact wrench to get it all stiff and good. And then what we do, we have our laminate down here on these rollers, which is nice, right? We have gloss and we have flat. Today we're going to be working with flat. So usually what I do is, here's our print, right? So I take the print. And I'll pull out our laminate, right? And I usually go a little bit past the dots here, right? And I pull it to the end, right? I maybe just a little bit past, right? So I pull it to there. And I bring this up, right? And I will set this in the laminator. Now, it's important to keep it nice and straight. This one's a little bit of a crooked cut, but we'll make it work. So what I do is I don't really jam it in there because you want to keep it straight. Because if it's buckled or anything, it will mess up the laminate when you do it. So just a gentle push in. Make sure it's nice and even. And then I'll just turn it into the laminator just a tiny little bit. Usually I'll run my hand across it and you'll feel for any buckles. You'll feel them. I don't know how else to explain it. But you'll feel like a bulge or something in the print that lets you know that it's probably going to crumple up as it goes through. So I cut that. Or I cut the laminate off now that I've got my piece measured. Now usually we do a lot longer pieces, but for this to be a little easier, we're just showing short pieces. So what I do, peel the corner off, right? And I just peel like a half inch or so. Um, you get the feel for it. Half inch of it back, and then I fold it back like so, but a nice solid crease in, right? So now what I do is I flip this over, and I line it up. Now, I use the dots, right? So I'll line it up just above the dots. But the other thing is you kind of just go along your edges and make sure that it's not hanging off to one side because what will happen is if it's hanging off to one side like this, it will not cover. Like if you've got a nice long sheet that goes down to there, you'll end up having stickers that are not covered. So I'll hang it right this, line it up real nice. And I'll start at one end, again, keeping it tight, keeping it lifted because you don't want it to uh, sit down till you're ready and just go across nice and smooth like so, right? So now your limit's hanging and this is a little crooked but it'll be fine because the stickers are all still covered. So then I bring the laminator in and I rock it over it a couple times to really get that down and get that crease nice and firm, right? So that this is stuck on there, it's not going anywhere. Now I will lift this up and this is where our tack cloth comes in. I do a good solid dust. Now usually I don't apply a lot of pressure because you don't want to like grind anything into the stickers or anything. Uh, they're perfectly dry, but you know, again, I don't want to grind dust and dirt into it. So I'll just take it and I'll do a nice, almost like a mopping motion. I'll just sweep it back and forth a couple times, make sure that there's nothing on there because what'll happen is dust and stuff gets onto the sticker and you can't use it because it looks like a, well, it looks bad. It's not something you can use. So what I do right now, you can do, you can pull this out several ways. Some people use their arm, right? They'll use their arm and they'll just slide it across to drag it through. I like the wheel, so what I do is I'll lift this up a little bit and then I'll stand, you know, you get a good position. Again, you can switch the card around to have different sides. And then I just roll it through. It's very important to do a consistent speed. That's why I like the wheel because you can spin it through at a consistent speed because what happens is if you go slow or you stop, you'll get marks. Now there's no marks on this. This actually came out really nice, but you'll get weird marks and stuff in a laminate and then you'll have to redo it. Uh, but that's pretty much how it is, right? You see these are all nice, they're laminated. Um, then I come along with my scissors and I will trim the laminate off the edge if there is any. If you get real lucky, there isn't, but here we have a little bit. You trim that off and it's basically ready to go in to be cut up and ready for stickers. So that's how you laminate, send it in to, uh, for your cutter. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below and have a good day.